Hey, it's Hub Night. I'm really, really honored that we get to be here together. You know, I was gonna say, you know, welcome to Hub, but I know that more and more, there are some hubs that watch this before, and then you show up to Hub ready and loaded with some answers and some interaction. And so whether you're watching this during your Hub right now, or you're watching this ahead of time getting ready, just wanna say I'm so excited that you made the choice to intentionally stay connected in community, to be with people, when really it would be pretty easy to be alone, be pretty easy to kind of dip in and dip out of relationship, but not you, not you. You've chosen to be consistent, committed, and ongoing in a relationship, and I just know that's gonna serve you so well. Well, Sunday was awesome. I loved the, the service on Sunday. I love the message that Kobe brought, fantastic message, as uh, just talking about the fact that there's a miracle on the way. And that in that journey, it's possible at times to miss the miracle because we get so fixated on the destination. Do you remember the story? It was out of Luke chapter 17 and uh, Jesus is interacting with a group of men who have leprosy. And, and there's 10 of them specifically. Jesus sends them to go to their destination and on their way, they're healed. And then one returns in Thanksgiving. I love that thought that just on their way, they're healed. Now you and I, we're going somewhere, who knows where. Sometimes it feels like we're not really sure where, but we are going somewhere. And, and the truth is that Jesus wants to meet us on the way. He, he's not waiting for us to, to reach a final destination as if then there's a prize in store and then he shows his kindness to us. Jesus' kindness is really initiated at the very beginning of his relationship with us. So there's just a few things that for me really stood out on Sunday that I think would be awesome to discuss. Number one, I loved this quote, even though we don't know what he is doing, we can always know that God is moving. Isn't that reassuring that God is always on the move? That he's not still, he's not stagnant, he is not uh, you know, boring, as if he, he did all his best work in the Old Testament or all his best work at the cross. In fact, the Bible says this, that, that God's power is still doing its best work within us. So whenever my weakness is present, God is still powerful and he's still working and he's still on the move. And I was thinking today, the, the juxtaposition of these two things, God is always on the move, but not the devil. The devil is actually stuck. The devil has no forward momentum, no real new options. He's not a creator, he's only a distorter. So the Bible says this of God, behold, I'm doing a new thing. But not the devil. He's just playing the same old reruns over and over. So I just want to assure you, no real thing to discuss in this uh, particular quote, but I love that thought that even when we don't know where or, or how, we can be assured that God is on the move. This is a, a thought that I'd love us to ponder together, though, is uh, another thing that Kobe said, which I loved. If you feel far from God, you're just one step away. Just one step away. A one step of repentance, one step of obedience, one step of realigning, only one step away. If you feel far, I was talking to someone just this week, they go, oh man, I've drifted so far from God, how do I get back on track? It's like, well, you're already almost there by acknowledging you've drifted from God and having a desire to get back on track. Imagine if God then made us prove ourselves. He's just too kind for that. So he says, oh, repent, believe and you're back in alignment in relationship. And so I wonder uh, if you could, maybe, maybe together we could discuss, is there one area in your life where you feel like you're a step away? You might be able to indicate that by an area where you feel really far away. What's that one area in your life where you feel a step away? And is there a readily available step that you know, I, I could just take this step, this would be the step. And perhaps it's like an area of forgiveness. You need to extend forgiveness to someone. Perhaps it's an area of obedience. Maybe it's an area of boldness. But, but if we wanna get real vulnerable tonight, we could just say, hey, here's one area that I know I need to take one step closer to God. And I'm gonna stop believing that it's this huge, massive thing. I'm just gonna take that one step. And there's a beautiful accountability that comes in sharing with one another. Here's the thing that I need to do. Can you remind me? Can you ask me again how I did in that area? Second thing that, uh, that I'd love for us to talk about tonight. Uh, this is so beautiful. Uh, great quote from Sunday. It's not on us to know, it is on us to go. Uh, God just tends to rarely tell us exactly his whole game plan, but he always tells us the part that we play in it. And I think of, of God as this master coach who can see the whole field of play, who can see the, the whole perspective, and he's giving us our part to play, 
And the truth is we would be overwhelmed if we had to know every other piece. We think that more information would make obedience easier, but it's not true. And if it were the case, even if it were true, it would actually kind of stop being obedience. It would certainly stop being faith. It's not on us to know, but it is on us to go on. And so I guess maybe quite similarly, uh, of asking is there one step you need to take in an area? I wonder if, if we could just discuss this thought here. Is there an area in your life where you felt stuck? Remember, God's on the move. The devil's stuck. God's a creator. The devil's just a, a distorter. God is accelerating us and moving us forward, but not the devil. The devil's trying to drag us down and hold us back. So has there been an area in your life where you feel stuck, where you just feel like I'm getting no forward momentum in this area. Now, conversations like this can very quickly shift in towards uh, a sense of, of real complaint, but what I think they can often do is just an acknowledgement of, of weakness or an acknowledgement of difficulty or an acknowledgement of exertion and strain, saying, hey, I got to be honest, this area of my life feels really sort of bogged down right now. We can encourage one another and uh, move each other forward. And then the last thing that I think would be awesome to discuss tonight as you uh, gather with your group or even in like a few seconds as this video comes to an end. Uh, this right here, what looks like thanks to us looks like faith to God. Can we take a moment, I and mean, maybe you already do this in your hub, maybe this is already like a practice of your life, but could we take a moment together today and just, just acknowledge with gratitude uh, an area where God has been faithful? And if you need help kind of zoning it in, why don't we say in the last month, and you say, God's been faithful. If you say, oh, man, I'm having a hard time coming up with the last month, the truth is one of two things. Either you can just dig deeper and really find something, or hey, why don't you say over the course of, of this pandemic, here's an area where I, it's undeniably true that God has been faithful in my life. And as we turn that gratitude towards God, that thanks towards God, what happens in our heart is faith begins to rise up. That's what happened right here. There's a gratitude and an acknowledgement that Jesus did something in my life and God then uh, pours out like this affirmation and esteem on a man who had already received his healing for showing that type of thanksgiving. Let's never be the people who, uh, who just receive from God without returning to God. I always want to be a grateful person. I always want to be returning gratitude. I know that would be your heart as well. So let's take some time and end our hub tonight, not with the things that feel overwhelming, but end with the things that, that remind us that God is on the throne and he's still in control. Is that great? Awesome. Hey, this Sunday, Got to remind you, don't miss this Sunday. We got some pretty exciting announcements, not only for things happening in Vancouver, but also Toronto. You're going to want to be on, uh, at Sunday. And a reminder again, if you're anywhere in the Vancouver area, we got worship nights happening all summer. Would love to see you there. It was awesome last week. It's going to be great this coming week. We'll see you guys soon.